that's that nigga again, that little nigga again, back on business again. Ay, handle your business, young man. How you do all that shit independent and win? Ay, count up them digits again. Every month I get residuals in. And for the hustlers, stack all that shit that come in and take care of your mom. Take care of your children, take care of your niggas, stay out that drama. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm back with you with another banger. So today I'm bringing you guys a curly hair routine. And these are all the products that I'm using. Although, Throughout this video, I didn't use everything. I just stopped using everything and used the Eco Styler because I noticed my hair was getting crunchy. And you know, baby, we don't want that. So I started off by moisturizing my hair with the Shea Moisture Coconut and Viscous Curl and Shine Conditioner. Then I sectioned a little part out and put the rest of my hair up in a bun. Then I go ahead and detangle my hair with this brush I got from Walgreens. And basically it's an in-shower wet brush and then you know I'm wetting my hair and you know just making sure your hair is able to be raked through smoothly. Then I take the gold uh, eco styler and I rake that through my hair and then I start coiling it and twisting it around my finger. I don't know how to really explain it but yeah you want to make sure to go in the direction that your hair is curling and don't clump too big of pieces together so here i'm putting the miss jessie's a little bit of castor oil and rubbing it together and putting it all over my hair then i use the brush to brush through it to make sure all the products are saturated throughout my hair for the best wash and go i recommend you trying out more product than water and more water than product because me my hair likes more product than water if it's more water than product it's really not it's just gonna frizz up or it's just gonna get crunchy if i use too much product so it's most definitely a trial and error so you gotta just be patient and you know don't give up So here this is what i'm talking about you want to make sure you get the pieces that come together and not making sure it's not too thick so yeah you basically want to listen to your hair and help your hair you know be great you know what i'm saying so if you do a section and it's like frizzy or you know clumping together all you got to do is just rake through it with your fingers or with a little bit of eco silo or spray a little bit of water on it and you know, it'll just fr the frizz will go away So when brushing your hair, you want to make sure you go from the bottom to the top. And you want to make sure to do this on like wet or damp hair. Well, not wet, like drenching wet, but damp hair. So, you know, the brush can go through and it's not ripping. So, yes, go from the bottom to the top, not the top to the bottom.
On this wash and go I determined that I did not want to part so I left the top part first and I section like horizontally going straight across so when I do my hair it falls in front of my face and when it dries it dries and shrinks up like bangs but I don't have bangs if that makes sense. So doing this is really kind of risky because you don't know how your hair is going to react to these products and doing it this method. So you know you got to send a prayer to God that it's going to work out and be okay baby period. And baby when he come through, baby. But yeah, you know, you got to be coming through with these wash and go, baby, because, you know, we don't got time for it to be looking at a hot mess, baby. We be playing all, all up into this. Then right here, I kind of like, I crunch it up to make it like, to make them go up into bangs to basically tell my hair, baby, you need to, you need to shrink. Yep, and then I do the normal wet it, brush it, eco styler, bada boom bop, pow. Oh, and also you want to make sure your hair is in the place where you want it to fall when you're doing this because you don't want your hair to dry um, wrong, like in the wrong place. Like, you make sure it's in the right place. Cause baby, we don't got time for you know this piece be going up in the air and that piece is going there and right here, baby, just put it in the right place.
so again i'm i'm scrunching it but this time i'm gonna use the little clip to kind of hold it in place like that so my hair can kind of dry like that while i'm trying to finish the rest of this hairstyle baby and we is all done so again make sure everything is in the right place for it to dry you want to leave it like this for about you know a good five minutes and then me personally to keep my length i kind of flip my hair back and put it in a ponytail and all this and that you know gotta make sure them edges straight even though you ain't gonna see them because my bangs baby but anyway yeah but yeah i leave it in a ponytail for a good 30 minutes or until I feel like my hair is half dry or at least we're the process where it's not like wet wet but that's it for this video make sure you like comment subscribe and I see you when I see you baby period